Was this the cleanest game in LCS so far? Nah, I think the cleanest one is usually the games the TLG plays. Yeah, that doesn't it's, sound too good, no? On a it's trend. not. It's not as good as Sunfire, yeah, because he loses the CDR. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. no. Yeah. <sighs> Wait, what? We're gonna see the LPL aggression coming in right now. No, I mean this is bad. I mean, oh god. <laughs> okay, like they didn't have to pick Pantheon, you know? Ah, oh, jeez. Let's see yeah. what supports. What supports are actually really good here? I mean, if you're insane, Gragas uh, or maybe Poppy. Gragas is really good. Poppy's good. Morgana's good. Morgana's good. Morgana's really good. Yeah, people don't like pairing Morgana with Kai'Sa, though. I think. Yeah, I don't know why. No, but uh, in actual reality, I don't. I don't like that people last pick supports when all they do is play fucking melee supports. Just blind your fucking Alistar and get it over with. Give last pick to someone more useful. Who do you think has better draft overall? I actually, overall? I think, I think, uh... it, I think it's pretty even because eventually there's no way to interact with Victor. Yeah, I don't think there's a clear cut winner. Uh, to be yeah. honest with you, uh, it's probably just execution, everything based more so than the draft itself. Yeah. I agree. I think both teams are like, there's strengths and weaknesses. Zerks are going for the invade, and... Wait, yeah, he's invading. And Spica is also trading sides, so I guess... Yeah. I guess we're gonna see trading sides happening now. Yeah. I, I don't know how you feel about this middle matchup, but... In my point of view, I actually think Victor's favorite before like level 5, where Rihanna gets like enough points in Q, and then it swings into Rihanna for yes, some time. Yes, that's what happens. And then when Victor gets like... Uh, 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 and then Victor when Victor gets, like, gets passes, his, his upgrade, and everything, yes, and then items, it goes back Victor, yeah. It can swing again, yeah. yeah. Yep, that's how I feel. I, li I, I like the lane, it's it's very poetic. Yeah, I think the skill... Uh, yeah, it's a skill, it's a, it's, yeah, there, it's a skill lane that swings back and forth level a lot. Wow, Hecarim with a very early level 3, like, what is the counterplay to Jungus? That's why they're getting nerfed next patch. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, they're gonna shove nice. into this wave and then reset immediately. And Hecarim's just gonna go and now clear his blue side jungle and then reset, and then all of his left side camps are up. So this is actually... Yeah, I, I don't know why Lilia took the uh, the golems, by the way, though. I think that's weird. He, <laughs> she should have left her golems up, and then if Hecarim does hers, then she actually goes out ahead. You think she shouldn't go for golems? She shouldn't do golems. She should go back into her own jungle, because by the time she finishes her blue side jungle, okay, yeah. and then she does the scuttle crab on left-hand side, when she resets, yeah. her raptors and golems will be back up, but then Hecarim's stuck with level 1 golems on the top side. So, mm. <clears throat> okay. over time, uh, it's more beneficial for her, as well as like the clear speed, yeah. the refreshes on her left side camps. By the way, this, this dive, I mean, I do have to give credit to TSM. I think it was really good. I'm surprised not even one kill was shaded, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, there, there's no way for them to really answer it, though, in general, right? Like, yeah. They did everything they could. That's the reason. The timing was done well. Now, see, this this is the stuff that I don't get, though. They should just crash the wave in. Like, why why are we, you know? We're like... They're we're, too late, we're, though. We're lollygagging. Yeah, no, no, no. I know it's too late no, now. No, they pushed but, right? it too fast. Yes. Now they pushed it too fast. So like there was there was like three phases. One is like they should insta shove it. And then the second one is that they messed up, and then the third one is that they should actually wait for the next wave and then shove. But then they they managed to mess up all three phases. I was actually having this discussion uh, with like like one one two days ago if Victor actually like should even build here because realistically speaking, the champion has so high base mana that it actually just is fine with uh, just an AP mythic without like the extra mana, you know. But. Uh, I guess he does have high AP scale, so tier is being built for that. It's just like it stuns him, you know? He can get lost up there faster if he doesn't buy it and stuff. Yeah, but I, th I, I mean, I guess, tier's I a door on be a slow item, game, right? so... Yeah, it is, but then again, you also want Dark Seal, and you also want a lot of things, right? So it yeah. stacks up and, mm -hmm. and stuff. Now, there's a random topping, uh, Rome, level 5 movie boots, reminds me of my Solica games. Uh, Alistair has Flash, he should be able to wow, Flash really out. Wow, really good cancel by late. <clears throat> That was a really yeah, good cancel, though. Up. Yeah. Oh. Bring flash too late. Ooh, Is Revenge gonna die? Nah, no, he's fine. Revenge played that about as well as you possibly could. Okay, yeah. TSM, TSM's gonna get a mountain now. That's obviously huge. I mean, TSM's looking pretty well this game, to be honest. They, they played the early game pretty well. Obviously, comes up, uh, comes off with a level 3 dive and everything, and it's snowballing right now. All right. All right, top lane play coming in. Shen ult on Pantheon. Alistar getting a bit late ult by Alistar. He should be pre-ulting that, but nevertheless, he gets bursted down. Zai should be fine, but Zai is really weak with the Berserker's 
Reeves so far uh, in 12 minutes. She's absolutely doing no damage. Uh, so as a champion, obviously, wants more AD than attack speed. She's like a Chistana type. So uh, generally, of course, not always. Obviously, she needs a balance, but uh, she benefits more from early game, for example, from having AD because her feathers and everything do way more damage than having consistent auto attacks or whatever. Reef her get summoned bot lane. Their XP showing the wave. Uh, Immortals coming down here. Are they going to force a fight? Revenge is sneaking the bushes. Now he's being revealed. Alistair just gets insta one shot. No ultimate. This Alistair is honestly he should be he should go back to the fucking uh how, how do you how do you say it? Uh back to the you know stable. He should go back to the stable. He needs to eat more grass, I think, before he comes to summon a series. By the way, why is it that you think that all the bottom tier support players always look so clueless in the games? Have you noticed that that's bottom like a tier, very common bottom trend? Bottom tier LTS support players? Yes. Why? Because they're bad at the game. Okay, but like what I mean is that they're clearly like even though they're in comms with their teammates that should be able to like say that something that they're doing is bad or like you would assume yeah, that they're because their teammates right? are focused on their own thing you know what i mean supports are just like they have a free time so they don't know what to do so they f they probably feel like they have a need to do something so they just do st st try to do something and then they end up doing something that's bad for them yeah that's the problem. It's like it's like you see this low on a player or whatever, and they just engage when obviously it's not a time to engage because they're clueless. Yeah. They walk into a river side where it's not time to take river because they, they lose control of the map. They lose touch of time. I don't know. They don't know what to do. They they cannot uh, read track of the map. They cannot read track of their teammates and enemy champs. We're currently in a fucking lull state, so we're not going to talk about TSM Immortals because nothing's happening. The The last two games that TSM has played are some of the cleanest games in North America, unironically. This is actually I really... yesterday, but today this is, is good, yeah. Today is actually extremely fucking clean and good. Today is legitimately good. I am very, very, very surprised. This is so fucking weird. But anyways, um, there's one of no the things... way they can turn it around in a week. By the way, like this is just no. It's just it's, just it's just it's just chance. Yes, this is just chance. Now, if this keeps happening, something's going on. If it keeps happening, uh, honestly, yeah, you can tweet at me and flame me. Twenty seconds, guys. Here we go. Can TSM get this, the the ocean soul and end this game, or is Immortals going to stall five minutes of their time for right. another chance? Guys, he looks nothing like Mazahar. Okay? He's literally already... Mazahar. He's literally, he's literally, he's literally Mazahar. Okay, he, okay, he does actually. I'm, I didn't he's actually, it. I just he's actually just, he's actually just he Mazahar. Actually like, <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Uh, oh, uh, Spika is in T. <clears throat> this looks bad for T. Oh, Victor, Victor. Okay, no. Nice. I tried. It's, it's, it's not bad for TSM. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, it's over. It's over. Holy shit! I think, dude, was this the cleanest game in LCS so far? Nah, I think the cleanest one is usually the games the TLG plays. <laughs> Do you say that because of the uh, the the guys in hazmat suits that have to come in after and quarantine the place? Because <laughs> that why CLG's games are the cleanest. <laughs> 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 you need a fucking yeah. Geiger meter just to watch it. Okay, here came getting engaged. Can he go down? The questions, the answer is no. Uh, okay. Dude, this game is over. I just, I can't get myself over talking about it more. No, the game's not over. The game's not over. Cloud, the the cloud, no, no, no. Over. This game's cleaner than the Cloud9 game, guys. This game is actually cleaner than the Cloud9 game. Like, even, even itemizations, like, pretty, pretty, well, I mean, except for, except for Ho Hooney's, I mean, Hooney and Boris are like, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Like, <laughs> If Boris has children, then, you know, their names might be, uh... Oh, that was a nice combo, Alistair. Yeah. That was actually... Okay. Uh, you know what? Wait, did I speak too soon? Oh, no. <laughs> like, watch them get aced, lose Elder, and then lose the game. <laughs> Dude. Is Phantom just that? Nope. No. No, you know what bothers me? Okay, never mind. We have a fight. Power Reveal just gets one shot. Hello? Uh, yeah, I don't know what immortals are. Oh, uh, wait. Okay, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Yeah, we're interested. 
Unfortunately, okay. they're just too behind. But that was a nice Sword Art, Sword Art has ult. Sword Art has ult. So Huni and Lost Chase, and then Sword Art ult. Yeah. By the way, you know what bothers me now that the game is over? What? It really bothers me that players are not building Phantom Dancer uh, in this patch. When I need the fucking champs. Why does Kai'Sa not have a Phantom Dancer? Why does Queen from last game, when Team Liquid is playing, is not actually going second item Phantom Dancer? I, I just don't get it. I don't know. I, I just really good don't. It's, it's an insane item. Yeah. Yeah, there are.